Welcome. As we know, the super SUV market is growing really fast with the likes of Range Rover, Maserati, Bentley, and very soon Lamborghini getting into the game. But we are here today in Fujera for the media event of the launch of the brand new Porsche Cayenne, the car that started it all back in 2002. Let's know more about this car. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep updated with our latest videos. We get the 2018 Porsche Cayenne in three different models, the Cayenne, the Cayenne S, and the Cayenne Turbo. Looking at the front of the Porsche Cayenne, you won't really know if this is the new or the old one, unless you work for Porsche, of course. But once you take a look at the rear, you will know it's the all new 2018 Porsche Cayenne. You can directly tell from the red light strip running across the rear, just like in the new Porsche Panamera. The new Cayenne uses the same infotainment system you find in the new Panamera, which means a touch panel around the gear selector and a large 12.3 inch central screen and twin screens within the instrument cluster. It also features an adaptive cruise control and a comprehensive park assist and a unique well rim protection system that alerts the driver to any obstacle that could cause any damage to the wheels or the tires. I'm sure that you're all eager to know all about the new Porsche Cayenne and who better to tell us all about it is Stefan from Porsche who worked on building and designing the new Porsche Cayenne. Welcome Stefan. Welcome. Let's begin with the styling. The first time I look at the new Porsche Cayenne, I think, oh, this is the Porsche I've known all my life. Tell us, how did you manage to do that? Okay, for us it was important to make the new Cayenne with a fresh design, but keep it Porsche. So especially, we do a lot of work here on the fly line. We reduced the roof above one centimeter against the Cayenne before. So on the other side, we have the typical three air intakes in the front. We have a very clear line over here. And so you have a sharp design to just to the end of the car. So let's talk about the interior now, because with the new Porsche Cayenne, once you step inside, you just feel you're in a brand new car. Tell us, how did you work on the design of the interior? Okay, even in the design, we want to have the Porsche design DNA integrated in the SUE. So of course, the ignition is on the left side. Mm -hmm. The highest point in the instrument panel are above the um, instruments. Mm -hmm. We integrated a fully new PCM system for the infotainment with a 12.3 inch display. So Stefan, I know in the brand new Porsche Cayenne, you worked a lot on uh, decreasing the body roll and giving us more handling on the road. And you did that by adding a lot of technical new aspects to the car. Can you talk a little bit about that, please? Yeah. So on the old Cayenne, there was a hydraulic system for the stabilization of the car. Mm -hmm. The new one has an electromechanical one. It's based on 48 volt technology, so it reacts quicker and more efficiently. So you're talking about the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control yeah, System, Yeah, that's basically. right. That's the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control. And what about the new air suspension on the car? So instead of the old one, we have a three chamber air suspension on this car. So you can have a smoother setup between track and off-road. And I think the old one had only two chambers. Yeah, that's okay, right. That great. was two-chamber system. Nice. My final question to you, uh, Stefan. What is the best part in the new Porsche Cayenne design for you? Definitely the back of the car with a nice lightning strip. When you go to the car, especially at night, you will see a clear design of the light. That's great. That's my favorite part too, because the new Porsche Cayenne has the name of Porsche inside the glass with that strip of light that Stefan was talking about. It was a pleasure meeting you, Stefan, and I hope our audience enjoyed this interview as well. The base Cayenne is powered by a 3-liter V6 that produces 335 horsepower. 
Oddly enough though, the more powerful Cayenne S has a smaller capacity V6, only at 2.9 liters, but it still betters the 3 liter unit by 99 horsepower, to give it a total power output of 434 horses. The motor that powers the Cayenne Turbo is a V8 of a capacity of 4 liters to help it produce 542 horsepower. The Cayenne is equipped with a conventional automatic gearbox instead of the Porsche well-known PDK dual clutch gearbox. The reason for this is mostly because Porsche wanted the Cayenne to be capable of towing 3.5 tons. At this event, Porsche managed to show me a new personality for the Cayenne, a personality I haven't really thought about before and that is its off-road personality. With its new air suspension and multiple off-road drive modes, the Cayenne managed to take us to places I never thought I'd reach in a Porsche Cayenne. After experiencing the brand new Porsche Cayenne at this event, I can assure you that the third generation of the car really captured the spirit of what Porsche calls sports car together. With its superb handling and amazing performance, it gives us that passion of driving and doesn't compromise on luxury and daily comfort you need from a regular SUV.